Sorry. Oh, it was great. Not not much hiking though. What? Not much hiking. What'd you do then? I laid on the beach for a bit. I drove quite a bit because I had people of different uh, needs of activities. My mother wanted to hang out in the casino, and my daughter wanted to hang out on the beach. So, so I was the driver taking them around. Okay, so uh, starting out with 5.5, five, uh, today's work is all pre-calc stuff, okay? Today's work is all pre-calc stuff. Uh, so 5.5 5 is calculus of exponential functions with bases other than E, okay, bases other than E. All right, so right here, you see examples of exponential functions, okay? And then I give you something that's not, that's not an exponential function. So this is not an exponential function, okay? So a couple of things, make sure you know the difference between what I just circled and this, oops. Does everybody know the difference between these two? What is the difference? One, one, yeah, Laura. One is negative x or whatever. Yeah, I mean, don't just read it out. I mean, tell me. With a negative is included in the two, and the other one's a negative is not. Yeah, but what would it mean mathematically? Yeah. So the negative of two was the parentheses for all to the x power. Both are to the x power. So, so including the negative sign. Yeah. But okay. Okay, what's this negative going to do to it? Yeah. What's the negative going to do? What's this negative going to do to it? It's going to even make it positive. What? Oh, wow. Yeah, why even? No, X could be an even number. X could be any number, right? X is a variable. Yeah, so then negative 2 to the x No, no, what is this negative sign going to do? So, do you guys know what 2 to the x looks like? Yeah. What does 2 to the x look like? Graph it. Graph it. You should be able to do this by hand, okay? A rough sketch. Doesn't have to be exact. Uh, yeah, I thought it like that. yeah, exactly. Doesn't it go like that? It'll just give me better words than that instead of doing that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. About what axis? Okay, it's going to flip it over the x axis. All right? So this is an exponential function. However, this is not an exponential function. Try and graph negative 2 to the x. Try and graph negative 2 to the x. And use a calculator for it. Okay? And I'll stop here for a minute. Uh, for an exponential function, this condition must be met. Okay. In other words, the base has got to be positive. It cannot be equal to 1. Because if it was 1, what would it be? What would happen if A was 1? In other words, you'd get 1 to the x. What would that be? Sorry? All the time, right? That's not a very interesting function, is it? That's a flat line. Okay. <coughs> That's a flat line, so that's not very interesting. So for an exponential function, A is got to be positive. It cannot be equal to 1, which is what I'm saying here. Okay? All right. Stuff from algebra 0. Okay, so I don't know if you need to take it down. If you do, take it down. Because we've seen this many times before, okay? Okay, and then log. Okay, so we had exponential functions. We have log functions to the base A. Does anybody remember what this formula is called? What this formula is called? It has a name. Change of base formula. Thank you.
Goosey from AP Physics into what now? What's co what's coming up now? What's coming up now? Which one? Gov. Oh, Gov's easy. All you have to say is, yeah, all you have to say, all the politicians are idiots. And you're done. Okay? I'm pretty sure if you put that down on your test, you would get a zero. Yeah. You know, if I have the right to call my politicians idiots and I get a zero, that's fair trade. That's fair trade. Because they are also zero and I'm also zero, so we are all good. They're all good. Successful, excuse me, excuse me, successful, define success. Okay, all right, all right, Marika, let's get down to math. After the math, you and I will duke it out about politics, okay? I'm not saying I'm against politics, but I'm just saying things are messed up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so some more rules from Algebra 0, okay? I don't know if you need to take them down. If you do, do. Sorry? Probably some Europeans. I don't know people. I don't know individually. It was, I, I don't know. Probably some Europeans. All right, you guys got this down okay? No. Okay, um, some more uh, properties. Again, these are all from Algebra 0, okay? So you should know these. If you, if you don't want to take it down, I'm okay with it, okay? Sorry? Uh, I don't think so, but I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe, I don't know. You need to look at it. Thursday. Okay, so a couple of examples and then we are done, okay? And then you guys can do your homework, okay? All right. Uh, this example here, solving 4x. Anybody have suggestions? <coughs> No, no. Remember, what do you mean by okay? Sajal, are you telling me the answer or are you giving me how to do it? Well, the answer would be just some number. Then the number is it's negative four. Okay. Uh, Sajal, you want to come and explain? One over eighty-one is three to the negative four. Nice. Okay. And therefore, x has got to be equal to negative 4 because they're both to the same base. Okay? So we okay with that? Yeah? Okay. Uh, one last example and then we're done, okay? Yeah, today is all pre calc stuff, okay? How about this one here? Yeah, Leila? X equals 1 over 25. Everybody with Layla on this? Yeah? Anybody need uh, her to come up and explain? You guys good? Yep. Well, we are done. So today, uh, get your homework done. Tomorrow, I start out with calculus, okay?